This is a little camping light and I've looked at one of these in the past from Poundland and it was quite nice inside. It uses uh, three AAA cells in a battery holder and it slots into the back and then it's got a, a simple click on click off button that's just like on and off. There's no intensity variation. And someone suggested that I should get another one of the more modern ones to take a look at compared to the original. Uh, so I went to Pound World and got one of these ones, and it looks identical. But when you open it up, let's uh, take everything to bits here, the original had a 1 watt LED inside, and they called it a 1 watt light. It certainly didn't put out, you know, it didn't draw 1 watt of power. I'm not sure what this one draws. Um, you know what? I'm going to take this into work and I'm going to measure the current through it, um, and then I'll uh, leave a note in the description below. I don't have a meter here at the moment because I'm in the accommodation. But uh, the circuit board is tiny in this uh, and whereas the other one unit had the one watt, this one just seems to have a straw hat LED and nothing obvious. Let's take this apart. So it's got a tiny little circuit board that is very reminiscent. I suppose it's logical that it would be reminiscent of the bicycle lights, the same sort of size which, given that the circuitry is very similar to the bicycle lights, would fit. Oh, that's I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's quite neat. Um, one of the contacts for the battery is this little uh, brass uh, copper, actually, plate here, which is just soldered at one end. The other connection... Is that captive? Yeah. The other connection is a sort of... It's got a slightly larger end that's actually poked through from this side and then it's uh, folded round and soldered. Um, and that's what makes connection with the outer ring in the battery pack. And the middle, the spring-loaded pin in the middle actually physically comes through that hole as does the centre of the battery pack and it makes contact with this, this connection to the back of the printed circuit board. That's quite neat. Uh, there is nothing else. There is the blob. Oh, let, no, I can't do that because I've taken this out. There's the blob, there's the LED, and the switch. Let's take a look at the switch. The switch is just a tactile switch. Oh, it's just popped out. Um, what holds that in then? Oh, right, okay. Let me just uh, try and put that back in. I was wondering why, actually, I don't see anything to hold the switch in. But it looks like it may actually be held in by the fact that the plunger has to be depressed to actually slide it in. Yes, it does, and then it pops out again. And it kind of locks in. Not completely, but it goes a friction fit. But still allows the switch to click. But I think it relies on the uh, spring-loaded plunger in there to actually hold it in by friction. That's quite neat. So the design has been cost optimised. It's a lot simpler than it was before. The circuit board's a lot smaller um, and the design is just cost optimised. But having said that, uh, it still works very well. If I screw this back together, let's uh, get this screw in here. Different screwdriver because I am travelling at the moment. I just brought my universal one size fits all, including all the security bits screwdriver. So if I screw this back in, it's just two screws. I think that's simpler again, another one. I'll put a link to the other video of the more complex unit. Yeah. So um, it has scope for changing the colour of an LED if you so desired, if you wanted to put a warm white one in. From the spacing of those pins, you could probably also put in one of the higher power LEDs just if you wanted uh, better thermal dissipation. And I'd guess that if you wanted, you could add a resistor as well and series the LED if you wanted to uh, get a longer runtime and uh, lower dissipation LED. But having said that, this thing at night time, because I've tried it, uh, lights the whole room comfortably. You know, if you were in a tent, uh, it would put out plenty of light. But as always with these things, um, if I point this down like that, it puts out a lot more light in a different pattern if you remove this. And this just unscrews, so that does give more options. But you know what? It's evolved, but not in a bad way. It's actually quite a neat design. It's very simple and functional. Yeah, like that.